run it up again I can take it over when I want to cause I can Ain't nothing left I had to get right We ain't worried about no critics so on this side I've been at the top since I came over I've been in control, yeah it's game over Born great, no I ain't asked for it Chasing the throne, I'm coming back for it I never quit, fading the black for it Never hang it up, I need a black for it Know that they fly, know that they ride or die I keep boys by my side, CJ I Now I got a roll with ice No rush, go on, you dumb Push and swarm, you dumb Peace and love, turn to peace and gloves Now you got a deal run up Generations caught up, look how things will switch People they're quick, now they wanna move out the bits Boy wanna throw some bitch, nah Unless you heard it from me, then you ain't heard it from me Got it from me, all that energy extra Bill this me with the hit Ah, uh, sure, leaving them penis alone no feelings involved. I, child, leaving them beaners alone. Me, with a squeeze. I'm getting hyped, bitch. She got that G, but she ain't know the way She knew my face, she heard my name pulled up and caught the wave I'm feeling lonely, so I hope she stay I'm confident when I'm drinking rain I hope you get a taste Despite being a stereotype, I'm up on the hat These niggas, they coming around, they trying to just fuck on my vibe Playboy like my name was Division 4 Elite 8 here from Strongsville, Ohio. Another Willard District champion playing for a spot in the Final Four at Wright State next week. This time it is the Buckets of Buckeye Central after their dramatic come from behind victory over 20th rated Columbia. This time they'll take on 19th rated Canton Central Catholic for a chance to make it back to Dayton for the 12th time in the school history. We got the pregame coming your way on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have, and it's coming your way next. I was out there. Let's unretire. Why not? Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa! I still got it! Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good. Where are you, bro? <laughs> Unretirement? Who'd be dumb enough to do that? Hi, I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. 
Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report. We welcome you inside the Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters pregame show for this Elite Eight matchup, a regional championship matchup between 19th ranked Canton Central Catholic and the Buckets of Buckeye Central. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi coming to you once again from Strongsville, Ohio, Strongsville High School for this regional final. The final piece of the Final Four puzzle for Division Four will be decided right here this evening. You see the buckets getting warmed up on the court right now. So let's start our pregame show taking a look at the team on the other side of the net. The Canton Central Catholic Lady Crusaders. They knocked off 20th ranked McDonald. 19-25, 25-14, 25-15, 25-14, two nights ago in the second regional semi. This is their second straight regional appearance. They fell to Monroeville, the Division IV state runners-up last year in the regional semi-final. They're looking for their first ever trip to Dayton. As a team, they're hitting 249 with a 35.4 kill percentages, and, and as always, 34.35.4 percent of the time they swing, it ends in a kill. And one of the main players that has helped them get back to this regional for the second consecutive year is Madison Heiser. 263 kills, which is second on the team, but look at the hitting percentage. 455, with, which is 10th for all of Ohio. That is every volleyball high school squad in Ohio, not just the OHSAA, not just her division, but 10th overall in all of Ohio. She's hitting 455, and she has 114 blocks, which is also 10th in the state of Ohio. As you take a look at her right there, getting warmed up, she is the, the big piece of the puzzle in the middle for the lady crew Saders. Now, let's take a look at the team spotlight for those Buckets of Buckeye Central. They defeated 14th ranked Columbia in a five set thriller. They dropped the first two sets. They had some mistakes, dropped the sets 23-25, 24-26. They had two match points they had to fight off in the third set. They were down 24-22. They fought right back. Won four straight points, took that set 26-24, cruised in set four 25-13, and then jumped out early and won 15-10 to get back here, playing for their 12th regional championship. This team has won two state championships as well. The two times they made it to the state final, they won. As a team, they're hitting 211 with a 33.5% kill percentage and one of the players to watch tonight was our MVP two nights ago, Kimmy Biglin, coming up big for the squad. Third behind the McDougals with 162 kills. Also behind the McDougals with 38 aces, but she had 12 big kills and she hit 480 in that semifinal victory over Columbia. And there is Kimmy. Getting a bit of a rest. Well, now standing up as we're just about ready to send it down to the floor for the playing of the National Anthem. And while we have a moment, let's welcome you all in here live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you right back out here this evening. Number two team in the state, New Bremen. Knocked off tops, top ranked Fort Loramie in four sets earlier today. Tiffin Calvert. Also in straight sets over fifth rated Convoy Crestview. So number two, number three already on to the state semi. The winner of this one will take on Calvert next Friday or 
this coming Friday, I should say, at 6 o'clock at the Nutter Center on the campus of Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio. Todd Mesmer uh, with the first comment of the night. Go Buckets on this college football Saturday as well. The Buckeyes pulling away late to take down Rutgers. My Mountaineers kick off in about an hour and four minutes. But let's send it down to the floor for the playing of the National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. America and respect for all who have served our great country to defend these freedoms. You are invited to stand and sing our National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. A little technical difficulties as we get the National Anthem ready. Momentarily. Although they are playing Wham! in the background right now. It'll wake me up before we go-go. Wake everybody up before we go-go here tonight. Hey, if we can't get it on the radio, might as well just sing it. Great job by everybody in attendance here tonight to sing one of the best renditions of the national anthem I've heard all season long. As we're about ready to introduce the players that will be taking part in this match between 19th rated Canton Central Catholic in the Buckets of Buckeye Central. And let's take a look first at the away team on the scoreboard. 19th rated Canton Central Catholic. And there is the roster players for you. Led by Madison Heiser. Also, Lauren Neisel, Neisel, Lauren Neisel, two leading kills leaders for this Canton Central Catholic squad. And there they are. Canton Central Catholic. Eight seniors on this squad. Josie Stevens, Paige Waters, Emma Borquin, Julia Badenbach, Sydney Turner, Layla Brandon, Madison Heiser, and Lauren Neisel. They are coached by Lauren Cola. Now, for the roster players for the Buckets of Buckeye Central, 11 time regional champions. Behind seniors, Mia McDougal, Ella Steele, and Kimmy Biglin. Three seniors, one junior, and Mara McDougal. Four sophomores in Elise Seifert, Olivia Bishop, Adrian Jury, Merritt McDougal, and four freshmen, Savannah Pace, Miley Estridge, Grayson Hook, and Emma Keller. Under head coach, Missy McDougal. And now let's finally round up the Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters post pregame with our keys to victory first for Canton Central Catholic out of system. 
That is what Columbia was able to do for the most part, especially in the first two sets in their two victories on Thursday was keeping Buckeye Central out of system, keeping it away from Mia McDougal and company. And then Nicer, Laura Niesel and Madison Heiser, the two kills leaders for the squad. Go through them to get the win. Heiser comes in, 263 kills. Niesel with 299. And now, finally, the keys to victory for Buckeye Central, the Buckets. Serve reception. A lot of aces we saw from one of the best servers in the state from Columbia last, well, two nights ago. Got to have that serve reception. That's also what Coach McDougal said what they needed to do to win today. And grit. You saw them grit it out. Two match points they fought off. And then the rest of the way pretty much dominated things as we are just about ready to go here from Strongsville, Ohio. Division four, regional champion will be determined. The fourth spot in the final four will be determined here in the next hour and a half, two hours. Once again, welcome in live and free on the OH Report. Josh Morgret watching from home. Too much going on to cover in one day. He was over at Calvert's sweep, I believe. Also, we had state cross country. We had some regional soccer. I got you covered, Josh. Help you out with your little uh, preview. Whoever wins here will take on Calvert. Friday at 6 o'clock at the Nutter Center and the state Final Four. Players are checking in. And it looks like Canton Central Catholic will be the ones to start things off. Maybe. Up oh, now. Backing up is Mara McDougal, so it will be Buckeye Central. That will begin things here. As she awaits the ball from the ref. And we are ready to go. The Division Four Strongsville Regional Championship is underway, and we are off. Bit of out of system, a push across, dug up. McDougal, right side, but a double hit. And the first points of the match go to Canton Central Catholic. That'll send back Jada Johnson, the sophomore. Just over the net. Bit of an out of system swing. It'll go from the back line. McDougal across. In system, left side, the big swing by Nysel. Kept alive. It's a free ball. Nysel again with the swing. Dug up right at the net, dinked over. Third chance for the Lady Crusaders. Nysel's blocked and down. Mia McDougal. We're tied at one as we take a look at her first Friedley Insurance replay. McDougal with over 100 blocks. As Kimmy Biglin back to serve. Angles it. Bit of an overpass, but Nysel is there and she gets the kill. It's 2 1. Able to get the angle. They'll send back Sydney Turner, the senior. Just underway. Left side in system. Over to Marin McDougal. Dinks it across, stays alive, pushed back across. Mar is there. Mia from mid range back line gets it to fall. The lofted shot. And it ties things at two. A 
Elise Seifert to serve. Down the middle, in system. Nisel, yes. Now over 300 kills this season. 3-2. Josie Stevens to serve the libero. Overpass, falls! Kimmy Biglin finding ways to get kills. Just the overpass deflected off a of Nisel. Three all. Mia with the serve, it's a short one. Nearly an overpass, dinked right back across. In system, the swing, just inside, it's 4-3. Sophia Keen, the freshman, getting a kill in the regional championship. Back and forth we go. In system for Jury. Nice dig, it's gonna be a free ball. Cross court to McDougal. Quick push back over for all. What an adjustment, it was not the set she wanted, so she just drugged the defense over to her, pushed it right back down the line, something we saw Columbia do a lot to Buckeye Central two nights ago. They're using it in their repertoire. And an ace. Marin McDougal. Five, four buckets. And Golden gets it again. Six, four. This one's in system. Great save by Mia. It'll be a free ball. Left side swung and finished. Nice placement. Marin with those two aces now with 50 for the season. Molly Marcerik. Was it tipped? No. We'll have a good angle on this. Well, actually, one guy said no, the other said yes. I'm going to say it was with the back line judge who was right, but the guy further away says different. Six all. In system, McDougal blocked. Push back across. Left side swing. Mia there. But into the nets. Lady Crusaders back on top, 7 6. And an ace. Marcerik bringing Canton Central Catholic right back. They lead by two. This time right in system. McDougal at the net, left side, gets the kill. 8-7. Mara. Just with the swipe down the left side. Buckets down one. Steele with the serve. Back line swing, dug up. Down the middle for Biglin. She goes back side. Quick set, stays in. Mara, off the block, dug up. Quick push. Mara again, dug up by the libero. Overpass, yummy. Flicked over and down for Canton Central Catholic. Able to win the joust. Nine, seven. Keen back to serve. 
Right at the net, flick down. Marin with the kill. 9-8. Mara now with service. Buckets down one. Angles it, it's an ace, we're tied. Nine all. But into the net, first service error of the night. Lady Crusaders making a substitution. Back to action. This will be a free ball. Actually a swing by McDougal's in! I heard the Buckets yelling free, but Marin went with the swing and tucked it right on the line. 10-10. Biglin with a short serve, it's an overpass, yummy flick down! Buckets lead. Mia McDougal. And an ace. Kimmy had one official ace lat two nights ago. High reception. Pushed across. Dug up. Yummy. Flicked. Buckets into the net, though. It's a 12 11 score. Fans don't like it, but I'm guessing it was Seifert that was under the net. Sydney Turner back to serve. In system, back set for Mia. Back line, yes! Rainbowed that one. Thirteen, eleven buckets. Down the line, out, just out. Buckets still up one. No one home, it's an ace. Went the opposite way of the setter that time. We're tied once again, 13 all. In system, back set for Mia, yep. A lot of hang time on that one for her. 14-13. Overpass, back set, swung. Another overpass. Actually, Mara went with the swing to put it over. Miss hit. 14 all. Sends Lauren Nysel back. Into the net, no one home, another ace. Fifteen, fourteen. Mia with the mid range swing kept up. Back line and out. Nisel. Buckets will call a timeout. 16-14, Canton Central Catholic leading here early on, first set. 
Once again, want to welcome everybody watching live and free. Comments starting to come in. Brandy Bowes, good luck BC from Cary. Big win for the Blue Devils last night in their regional quarterfinal. Good luck Buckeye Central from St. Paul Flyer family. Another win for the football team, St. Paul. Best wishes to the Buckets from Colonel Crawford. Jody Cole, let's go Northern 10 represent. Shannon Snipes, Sharon Snipes, thank you H Report. Buckets, you can do it, you're welcome. Aaron Rose, let's go Lady Buckets. Jocelyn Stout, go BC and the McDougals. Aaron Neese, let's go Buckets. Shelly Hersheiser, good luck BC. Heidi Sloan, let's go BC. Ashley Cecil, hi Ashley, how are you? Let's go Buckets and Joe Campagna. Go Buckets, keep it local. Keep it inside the district, right Joe? McDougal with the swing, deflected and stays alive. Cross court, angled, big one there. In system, Jury with a dink, and it falls. 16-15. Adrian Jury is on the board. I'll send Mara back. Marin with the swing. Line drive ace, we're tied. Third ace of this first set for her. Lofted that one, it's in system. Dinks down the middle. McDougal there. Back set for Jury. She dinks it, dug up. Back set swing, kept alive. Over to Marin, too strong. So it was Mara with the swing. Too many McDougals. Actually, there's not too many McDougals. You can say there's just enough McDougals for this squad. Three players and a coach. Service error ties things up. Both teams, one service error. In this opening set, sends Ellis Steele the libero back. Senior, one of the three seniors on this squad. Knocked out of bounds. Buckets lead again, 18-17. Just a bit of a miss hit. Line drive, nice reception. Over to Borkwin, and out. 19-17. Back set, big swing, Mia there. Right into the net, jumping free ball. Keeps it alive. Quick set. Pancake. Mia with another free ball. Left side. Blocked. Pushed over. Now Buckeye Central with a chance. Cross court to Mara. Quick dink is blocked. Back set. Pushed over. And down. What a rally by Buckeye Central. Elise Seifert gets the kill. They lead by three. 20 to 17. Wow. That's the play Missy McDougal's been looking for. In system. Left side. Borquin. Kept up. Over the Mara. Off the block. In play. Flick down the middle. Mia there. Quick set back corner. Kept alive. Borquin again. Back set, miss hit, 2018. At least a little too excited there. Sends Keen back to serve. Little push across. 
Right back over and down, two straight for the Crusaders. It's 20 to 19. Buckets by one. Into the net. 21-19. This is the spot that Buckeye Central kind of struggled at in the first two sets two nights ago. We'll see if they've worked that off. Big reception up to the net. Kept alive. Two quick sets. Off the block. Another chance for Canton Central Catholic. Bit of a miss hit, block right back over. And it drops. Frantic play goes the way of Canton Central Catholic. It's 21-20. Jada Johnson back to serve again. In system. Cross court to Mia with the dink and finishes, 22-20. You hear the Buckeye Central student section in the background. Just over the net. Quick bump across. Set up for Mia. Big swing and a finish. Mia McDougal, Mia Maya, 23-20. Kimmy the serve. Bit of a miss hit. Double hit. Set point buckets. 24-20. And Canton Central Catholic not calling a timeout. Four set points for Kimmy Biglin. Low liner just gets over. Right at the net. Too strong. Buckeye Central takes set one. 25 20. Buckets take the 1 0 lead. We'll take a break. When we come back, set two live and free for this D4 regional final. I wish I was out there. Let's unretire. Why not? Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa! I still got it! Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good, right here, bro. <laughs> Unretirement? Who'd be dumb enough to do that? I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report. Division 4 Regional Championship brought to you live and free. Thanks to our generous sponsors. Free Delay, we are driven and inspired by our purpose. Food that matters for life's moments. McDougal Financial, providing resources and advice focusing on time-tested investment solutions as well as long-term retirement planning strategies. Seifert Family Farms, a fifth-generation family grain farm that provides whole farm drainage as well as total custom farming and chemical and fertilizer applications working to keep the land and community functioning together for future generations. 
Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters would like to congratulate all of their fall sports athletes on a great season and wish the best of luck to volleyball and boys cross country runners as they continue their tournament runs. Friedley Insurance. Friedley Insurance is a second and third generation family owned and operated business proudly serving the insurance needs of the community of New Washington and the surrounding area for over 50 years. And Scout Construction Services LLC with more than a decade of business. You can trust Scout Construction with your roofing and siding needs. Call Scout Construction for more information. 419-989-7240. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening. As we bring you back courtside, Buckeye Central 25-20 leads this regional championship one set to none. Travis Berardi back here alongside my camerawoman Madeline Zizudo as the Lady Crusaders too strong on the serve. Buckeye Central out ahead, 1-0. Want to welcome everybody back in live and free. Winner takes on state number three, Tiffin Calvert. Straight set winners over fifth rated Convoy Crestview earlier today. McDougal with the block. Kept alive. Mia with the swing mid-range. Kept up. Cross court to Nysol. And yes, nobody home in the back corner. She hits it there. It's one all. That first set back and forth till the end of it when Buckeye Central pulled away to take it 25-20. Bump left side for Mia. She's blocked, but keeps it up. She'll get another attempt. This time pushes it across. It'll be a free ball. This time Mia down the middle with the dink and finishes 2-1. That'll send back Kimmy Biglin to serve. Had... An ace in set one. Short one received. Back set running swing and a finish. Two to two. Heiser. Say my name. And an ace. Stevens the libero gets an ace to make it 3-2. Back to back. And that was a point of emphasis for Columbia two nights ago was trying to get those services in there. Can't Central Catholic into the net. Makes it 4-3. Seifert will serve. This in system, back set, blocked, but out. Point, Canton. Nicel with the big enough swing to deflect it out of bounds. And an ace. McDougal kind of jumped in front of Biglin and couldn't get the pass over. 6-3. Angled, this time it's received, but Miscommunication, 7-3. At the net for McDougal, off the tip and down. 7-4, stop the run there with that swing. Mia, now to serve. Overpass, stays on the side of Canton Central Catholic. It'll be a free ball. McDougal, the jury, bumped up. Another backline swing. Overpass, but it falls. Mia 
Gets it to go. 7-5. Back set. Dinked over and down. 8-5. Down the line, and a double hit. 9-5. Serve just beyond the line. That's as close as you could get. Gives service back to the Buckettes. Marin with the serve. Short one in system, back set, lofted across. It's be bumped over for Mia. She'll give it a free ball back corner. Left side. Bork wins dug up. Cross court. Mara, but blocked. Timeout, Missy McDougal. 10-6, Canton Central Catholic leads set two. Let's go back to our comment section. Sue Capel Brass, good lady buckets. Shane Cockensparger, good luck BC from View Cyrus Wrestling. Rebecca Kolb, let's go Buckeye. David Thompson, good luck Buckeye from Shasta Lake, California. Deanna Albert, let's go Buckettes. Watching from Heidi, I'm watching too, Heidi Sloan. Deanna saying hello to Heidi. Caitlin Schneider, let's go BC. Janice Grau, keep it going BC, good luck. Jen Lepard, way to go BC, keep up the good work. Sarah Gottfried, let's go Buckettes. Sharon Snipes. What a great announcer we have. Well, thank you. Amy Knapp, let's go Buckets. So that point will go the Canton Central Catholic on the miss hit. Then a couple quick more. Becca Coker, let's go BC. And Coach Barry Fall, formerly the girls basketball coach at Willard High School, rooting on the Buckets. Thank you, Coach Barry. Hope you're doing well. As Buckeye Central back on the board, it's 11 7. Back set for Jury. Found the space. Steal with the serve. Right at the net, big swing blocked. Mara pushes it across, but blocked. 12 7. Double block there, finishes it off. Johnson with the service. It's an ace. We saw this two nights ago with Canton Central Catholic. Lost the first set, but bounced back to win the next three. Looking good here in set two. Biglin, enough with the dink. And a quick push over. We're seeing more of Heiser here. And set two. It's a seven point Lady Crusader lead. Back set, McDougal blocked. It's a free ball. Quick flick across, bit of a miss hit. Left side for Mara. Down the line and gets it to go. Able to avoid the block that time. 14-8. Mara now the serve.
swung, dug up. Right at the net. Biglin over the block, kept alive. Another chance for Neisel in system. Biglin again off the block, and it falls. 14-9. Two straight for the Buckets. They trail by five. Nizel blocked. They'll actually call four hits. Nonetheless, it's a point for the Buckets. Three straight, it's 14-10. Timeout. Canton Central Catholic as you take a look at the Buckeye Central student section. Charlene Wilson, go Buckets. Rochelle Hill, go Buckets. Erica Lear, let's go Bucks, keep fighting. Over on the YouTube, Brandy rooting for the Crusaders. Janet Myers, let's go Buckets. We're watching from Arizona. Good job, by H Report. Thank you for watching. The Bascom boys go BC. Teresa Swartz, Aunt T from Richwood, Ohio, watching Ellis Steel and teammates. Go, ladies. And another go Crusaders from Brandy. 432 watching. Currently, thank you all for watching live and free on a Saturday evening. The final spot of the final four in D4 will be decided with the winner of this match. Out of the timeout, Mara McDougal to serve. In system, Heisel with a dink. Quick set across, and it's gonna go. 14-11. Marin with the quick thinking there. Backside that time, a smart choice not to play it. And the run finally ends, but the Buckets work themselves back to within four. Turner with the serve, let ball, overpass, joust, falls for the Buckets. Kimmy Biglin makes it a three point set once again. Biglin now to serve. Down the middle, it's an ace. 15 13. Down the middle, in system, big swing and a finish. Nizel. Big back swing on that to get the kill. 16 13. Stevens, who went on the run early in this set from serving. McDougal with a dink, overpass, and it falls. Wow. Big break there. 17-13. In system, Mia, left-handed, kept alive. Backline swing, tipped, and down. Three-0 run, 18-13. In system, Mia dinks it, dug up. Nysel gets it to fall. 19-13. Buckets will call their final time out of the set.
Buckeye Central had it down the 15-13, but a 4-0 run by Canton Central Catholic. Pushes its lead back out to six. Buckeye Central took set 125-20. Shannon Doa, New Bremen, Calvert. Two, three, and four have already advanced. Who will be the fourth? Mio off the block and down. Short serve received. Back set above the block, but in system. Mia at the line. Canton into the net. 19-15. Big reception. Left side, the swing goes. The freshman Keen once again gets the lead back out to five. This one received. Back set for Mia. Angled and down. Buckets need another run here. They want a chance to go up 2-0. Mia will look to start that. Cross court. Quick dink across, another chance. Mid-range into the net, 20-17. Borquin on her second attempt, got a bit above the ball. Mia with another serve. Tough reception, back set, the swing off the tip, kept alive, right at the net, it's blocked. Another block from the Lady Crusaders. Angled down the line, Biglin there. Jury down the middle. And again, Canton into the net, 21-18. Marin McDougal will go back to serve. Somehow the overpass gets across. Quick set across, back over. Finished, 21-19. Marin came all the way up to dink it back. Buckets trail by two. Another liner in system. Mara pushes it down the angle. Borkwin dug up by Mia. Now to Kimmy. Two quick sets, back to Borkwin again. Jury again with the dink. Joust kept alive. Quick set. Furious play going on and finally Canton Central Catholic gets it to go. A lot happened in there. Just out. 22-20. 
Now Ella. Lofted, set up for Heisel. Heiser with the kill. That time went off speed. 23-20. Another one too strong. Sends Mara back. Mara sixth in all Ohio in aces. Blocked, kept alive. Kimmy backside, right at the middle. Blocked, Mia with the block, it's 23-22. Mia out of nowhere. Timeout, Canton Central Catholic. Buckets have clawed their way back. They were down seven at one point, fought back to be down two, then went down six, and have fought back to make it a one-point set. To take a look at Mia McDougal, let's take a look at that block one more time. Twenty-three, twenty-two. As Mara McDougal, 98 aces coming into this match. Looks to get one here to tie this set back up. They do lead one set to none. A comeback victory here would be huge for the Buckets and kill some momentum on the other side. Angles it in system, cross court, pushed back across, blocked. But on the side of Buckeye Central, it's set point. That time, Mia's arms got a little too far to the right and it deflected over. Two set points coming up for Turner. Left side for Mia. Punched it, kept alive. It'll be a free ball, though. Mia to McDougal, to Mia, blocked. They say it was blocked, put it back across. Mia with the running slide, kept in play. Nicel tipped in system. Big Lynn backside. Back set the swing, dug up, bumped. Right side dink. Deflected and down, we play on. Buckets back to within one, but they will need to take this point to extend the set. 24-23. Kimmy Biglin. Big reception. Down the middle, the dink. Is down. We're tied at one. 25 23. Canton Central Catholic ties the match up. We'll take a break. When we come back, set three. Who will take the 2 1 lead? We'll find out. I was out there. Let's unretire. Why not? Yes, it's back. Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa? I still got it. Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good right here, bro. <laughs> 
Fun retirement? Who'd be dumb enough to do that? Hi, I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report. Tonight's Division IV Regional Championship brought to you live and free thanks to our generous sponsors. McDougal Financial, providing resources and advice focusing on time-tested investment solutions as well as long-term retirement planning strategies. Seifert Family Farms, fifth generation family grain farm that provides whole farm drainage as well as total custom farming, chemical and fertilizer applications, working to keep the land, community, land and community functioning together for future generations. Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters would like to congratulate all of their fall sports athletes on a great season and wish the best of luck to volleyball and boys cox country runners as they continue their tournament runs. Freedly Insurance. Freedly Insurance is a second and third generation family owned and operated business proudly serving the insurance needs of the community of New Washington and the surrounding area for over 50 years. Scout Construction Services LLC with more than a decade of business you can trust Scout Construction with your roofing and siding needs. Call Scout for more information at 419 989-7240. And Frito Lay, we are driven and driven and inspired by our purpose. Food that matters for life's moments. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening. Set number three underway. One set to one in this D4 Regional Championship. 25-23, Canton Central's Catholic evened it up. Mia with the swing, kept alive. Heiser tried the dink, won't go. Another push to the back line will fall to one nothing Canton Central Catholic. Canton CC led by as much as seven, and then another time led by six as an ace. Buckeye Central did fight back, brought it to within one a couple times, but could not fully come all the way back. Jada Johnson to serve. Too strong, 2-1. Biglin with the serve. Back corner, kept alive. Left side, Nysel. Dug up. Punched across. Another chance for the Lady Crusaders. A dink. Deflected back over. But finished. Great job. By Madison Heiser. Angled it down, it's three to one. Turner served down the line, kept alive. It'll be a free ball. Heiser pushes it down again. Four one. Turner back to serve again. In system, Mia. Kept up. Nysel angles it. Left side swing, block. They'll call four hits. 5 1. Bump left side, McDougal left-handed dink, kept in. And a quick push 
Lady Crusaders have Buckeye Central all out of sorts, and Missy McDougal not happy. 6-1 as they take their first time out of the set. As you see the Canton Central Catholic squad who has taken over the side that was supposed to be for Buckeye Central. Six one the score. Buckeye Central took set one 25-20. Canton Central Catholic back at you 25-23. As you see the fans. Once again, thanks to everybody watching. 500 of you. Buckets have dug themselves a five-point hole here in set three. This is going to be a free ball. In system, left side, Nysel angles it and falls. The timeout horn went off during that, but because they played on, They'll give the point. In system, McDougal blocked, but miss hit. 7-2. Buckets back on the board. Seifert with the serve. In system. Little dink. No one home. Campfire ball. It's 8 2. In system. Jury dinks it. Dug up. Angled. Kept alive. Down the middle for me, a big swing, dug up, overpass. Yummy Dink stays up. Four hits. 8-3. Sends Mia back to serve. Short serve received. Left side, too strong. 8-4. Buckets have seemed to calm things down here early on. In system, back set, dink the cross, but no one home. But Canton Central Catholics into the net. Took that replay a little too late. Maybe a little bottle and lie moment from when the horn went off earlier. Back set. Big swing dug up. This is going to be an overpass. Tipped and out 9 5. Mia went for the play. Nearly whiffed on it, but did get a piece as it goes out of bounds. Nysel the serve. Low serve. Joust. Save, but the third attempt will drop. It's 10 5. In system. Mara, mid-range, tipped, in play. Jury with a dink, bump backwards, free ball. Mia to Marin, to Jury, too strong. 11-5.
nearly an ace. It will be. That one kind of crawled up Kimmy, Kimmy Biglin's arms. Misplayed, 12-5. Low liners just over the net, received. Biglin from the back line. Towards the net and out. 12-6. A little bit of sloppy play by both sides here. Canton Central Catholic leading by six. Send Marin back. Down the line, nearly an ace, nice reception. Mid-range, dug up. Cross court. Mara with a dink. Another mid-range. Mia's there. Kimmy. We play on. From the back line. Deflected. Bumped. Marin. It'll be a free ball. Mia to Marin to Kimmy, but blocked. 13-6. Substitution for the Lady Crusaders. Let ball. Back set jury to the back line. Dug up. Nicel. Let ball. Jury again for mid-range with a two-handed dink, but they're going to call a double hit. 14-6. And Missy McDougal will call the timeout. Ryan Fox watching from Alaska. Let's go Buckets. Hello. Thank you for watching. Ben Franklin, let's go. Kim Moore, Mower, go BC. Melissa Shea, bring home a regional title, Buckets. Tana Miller, let's go, Buckets. Missy Thomas, best of luck, Buckeye Central. Jackie Roberts, you got this, Buckets. Thank you all for watching. Buckeye Central has some work to do. Trailing by eight. In system, Kimmy off the deflection, kept alive. Back set for Jury, her swings dug up. The dink tipped. Mara. Quick set, one-handed save. Mia from the back line will play on. Mara, quick flick to the back side. It'll be a free ball. Nearly a collision there. Kimmy Biglin off the tip and finally gets it to fall, 14-7. Off the tip, over the Mara, back side, received. Borkwin blocked an overpass, pushed back over. Now in system, Biglin down the middle. She's blocked and it goes over. And a point for Buckeye Central, 14-8. Had danced along the net and went out of bounds. Steele back to serve again. In system from the back line. Yes, did touch the line. Yeah. 
into the net. Point given right back. 15-9. Winner of this set takes a 2-1 lead and comes to within one more set victory of the final four. Down the line, in system, back set, swung, McDougal there. Bump the big lane. big swing, overpass, Yummy's flicked down and into the net, point Buckeye Central. Mara back, down five. Left side, Heiser finds the gap. Sixteen tens the score. In system, Mia at the net punches over is a bit offset. Blocked. Biglin's there. Set up for Kimmy, but she's blocked. You can kind of see that one coming. Seventeen ten. Low liner, in system, Mia with the dink this time finishes. <laughs> 17 11 is Kimmy Biglin will serve. Nearly an ace, it is a free ball. Right at Mia, off the blocking down. Back to a five point set. Kimmy Biglin to serve. Into the net, angled, kept alive. Mia with the free, not the free, but the yummy ball. 17-13. And Canton Central Catholic will call a timeout. Buckets on a little bit of a run. They still trail, though, by four. <laughs> Who will join? Shenandoah, New Bremen, and Calvert next Friday in the Division IV Final Four. As we get ready to resume play here. Kimmy Biglin. Ready to serve. 17-13, Canton Central Catholic leads. They have one timeout remaining. Buckeye Central has none. Into the net. First time Kimmy's been iced tonight. Sydney Turner back to serve. Rainbow shot, received, left side McDougal, mid-range, puts it back side. Over to Nysel, dug up, joust, left side, down the line and in. Elise Seifert saw the opening and got it to go. She will now serve after Mara finishes tying her shoes. Oh 
just over the net, but it's an overpass. Overpass right back. Another overpass, and it finishes for Canton Central Catholic. Everybody out of sorts that time. Nineteen fourteen. Mia, left side, kept up. Measle, unable to get the fall. Mia does. <laughs> Mia McDougal with the serve. Back set and down. 20 to 15. Measle will now serve. Left side. Mara, yes! I'm gonna keep to myself on that one. McDougal trying the left side, nice reception. Cross court, Borkwin off the block and back at ya. In system, McDougal with a dink. Yes, 21-17. Four point deficit. Ellis Steele, back to serve. In system, back set. Measle off the net. Left side for Mara, miss hit. Mara tried that push down the line, but hit it into the net. Keen to serve. Biglin off the block, kept up. Borkwin from the mid range. In system, back set. Seifert. Quick swing, another chance for BC. Biglin down the middle off the deflection. Bumped back across, that was too close to be left out. Running Dink, kept up. Now Dink down the middle, free ball, and down! Big point for Buckeye Central, makes it 22-18. Mara McDougal, the one you'd want back there to go on a run. Down the line, awkward reception, mid-range, chance for Buckeye Central. Mia with the dink, kept alive, pushed across. Double hit, middle received but into the net miss hit 22 20 timeout Canton Central Catholic once again the buckets will not go away they trail by two these fans were outside tailgating when we got here at 4 30 and it seemed like they'd been there a while. They had the table out with a nice spread.
These Bucket fans know how to tailgate. They did it as well for the basket, girls' basketball team that went to state and regionals the last few years. Larry Kolb, let's go Buckets, cheering you on from Bellingham, Washington. A lot of West Coasters. Four o'clock in the afternoon over there. Sheila Childers, let's go Buckets. She, she loves y'all. Hi, she, she. Mara serve in system, back set. Borkwin with the dink. Big Lynn had to adjust, kept alive. Quick set. Over to Mia. She pushes it across. Dump back over. Big Lynn. Back line into the net, 22 21. Mara McDougal to serve with a chance to tie things up. Backside, recepted. Miss hit, but somehow made it over the net. Mia for the tie, dinks it. Punched back, free ball. Mara to Marin, to Mia. We're tied! 22 all! The McDougals all in on that one. The Buckets have fought all the way back. First to three win by two. We'll take a 2-1 lead. Tough reception there. Mid-range. Kept alive. Mia again. Yes! 23-22. Two tying break for Canton Central Catholic. Neasel making sure she had those laced up nice and tight as Mara will look to extend. This will be a free ball. Mia to Marin to Mia with the dink. Brought back over. Again for Mia. Into the net. We're tied. Just got a couple steps out of whack there with the set. And now it is the first to lead by two. In system, Mia kept up right at the net. Yes, set point. Canton Central Catholic. Heiser that time had it perfectly set up for her. Jada Johnson will look to make this a two sets to one lead for the Lady Crusaders. In system, Mia, left-handed dink, push back across, and in, it's over. 2-1. Canton Central Catholic, two straight, takes the 2-1 lead. Another 25-23 win. We'll take a break with set four coming up afterwards. I wish I was out there. Let's unretire. Why not? Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa? I still got it! 
hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good, right here, bro. <laughs> On retirement, who'd be dumb enough to do that? Hi, I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report. Tonight's Division IV Regional Championship brought to you live and free thanks to our generous sponsors. McDougal Financial, providing resources and advice focusing on time-tested investment solutions as well as long-term retirement planning strategies. Seifert Family Farms, fifth generation family grain farm that provides whole farm drainage as well as total custom farming, chemical and fertilizer applications working to keep the land and community functioning together for future generations. Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters would like to congratulate all of their fall sports athletes on a great season and wish the best of luck to volleyball and boys cross country runners as they continue their tournament runs. Freedly Insurance. Freedly Insurance is a second and third generation family owned and operated business proudly serving the insurance needs of the community of New Washington and the surrounding area for over 50 years. Scout Construction Services LLC with more than a decade of business you can trust Scout Construction with your roofing and siding needs. Call Scout Construction for more information 419-989-7240 and free delay. We are driven and inspired by our purpose. Food that matters for life's moments. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening. As we bring you back inside Strongsville High School, Canton Central Catholic with back-to-back 25-23 -back set victories. One set away from the final four, but... Buckeye Central's been in this situation just two nights ago. As they let that go far, it's one nothing Buckets. They trailed two sets to none to Columbia before bouncing back. They were actually down the two match points in set three before going on a 4-0 run to win that. They easily won set four and then won set five as Mia McDougal, who helped lead that run two nights ago, gets the yummy ball. Makes it 2-0. Mara to serve. In system. Kept alive. Biglin. Angled. Tipped. Quick set. One-handed save. Mia at the net goes back line. Over the Neasel. Now Biglin again. She's blocked. They're going to call four hits. It's 2 1. Turner with the serve. Back set for Biglin. Back slide blocked. McDougal with the quick swing. Measle. Overpass. The yummy kept alive from Mia. Biglin again, mid range off the tip and down. 3 1. That'll send Kimmy Biglin back to serve. Just over the net. And an ace. First one we've seen since the second set for the Buckets. It's 4-1. Something we saw hurt Buckeye Central in the last two sets was a strong start by Canton Central Catholic. Bit of an overpass will lead to a chance for the Buckets. Mia down the middle. Yes! Yeesh! That was rifled. 5-1. The Lady Crusaders were able to hold off 
after a strong start. Buckeye Central came on late the last two sets. Is that overpass? Will get flicked down. Great out of system recovery. Left side and system. Back set for Mia. Blocked. Five, three. That time they were able to get their hands on it. Right at the net. McDougal back side, but out. Five, four. And now they're going to change it and say it was deflected. And I think they're right. 6-3. That replay showed it might have got a little bit of a finger. Right at the net, left side, off the deflection. This will get bumped towards the net. It's a free ball. In system, Measle blocked. No, four hits. 7-3. Seifert now to serve. Short serve in system. Back set. Measle's blocked but it's out, 7-4. Measle will now serve. Nearly miscommunication, but they were able to receive it. It's a free ball. Over the Borkwin. Blocked, one hand. Out. 8-4. Mia with the serve. At the net, the dink kept alive. Kimmy from the back line, just out. Send Molly Marcerick back to serve. Left side. Mara gets the kill. Marin to serve. Great swing by the freshman. Eight ball, corner pocket. Teams going back and forth now. Buckeye Central by three, needing to get this fourth set to force a fifth. Back set for Jury, blocked. It'll be a free ball. At the net. Kept alive, another free. Borkwin off the tip and down, 9-7. Let ball, overpass, yummy flick down. Missy McDougal is going to take her first time out with the buckets up one. Nine eight the score in set four. Scores from the other three regional championships in Division Four. We'll start at the top of the bracket. Number four in the state, 
Shenandoah taking on 18th ranked Shenica Christian. Shenandoah in straight sets 25-20, 25-12, 25-18. The biggest of the regional final matchups. New Bremen number two, Fort Loramie number one. New Bremen wins in four. 25-15, 25-21, 15-25, 26-24. -25, and then on our side of the bracket, Tiffin Calvert, number three, took out Convoy Crestview, number five, 25-22, 25-20, 25-22. And your score here, Canton Central Christian, up 2-1, 20-25, 25-23, 25-23, and they trail Buckeye Central 9-8 in set four. Back to action, down the line. In play, Biglin from the mid-range, deflected. Heiser swung but blocked, and down, 10-8. Ellis Steele will go back to serve. Back set, pushed over, kept alive. It'll be a free ball. No, mid-range swing from Mia. Nonetheless, it's received. Heiser, dug over the Mara. Back line kept up. Quick flick. The McDougals are there with a free ball. Heiser on the back slide. She's blocked. Mia from mid-range will go again. This time Bork wins. She's blocked, but it's out. 10-9. In system, Kimmy with the dink. Measles gets the kill. 10 10. Low liner in play. Back set. Mara cross. Joust. Yummy. Blocked. Lady Crusaders with its first lead of set four. Mara from mid-range into the nets. 12-10. In system, Biglin's blocked. Buckets need to get Heiser out of that middle spot as they'll call a timeout. This has been the rotation that's helped out Canton Central Catholic the last two sets. It's when Buckeye Central gets them out of that rotation is when they can start coming back. But first, they have to get them out. Once again, want to say hello to everybody watching on our YouTube and Facebook pages. Almost 600 people watching live and free. Winner gets number three, Tiffin Calvert. 6 o'clock Friday at the Nutter Center on the campus of Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio. In system, Kimmy with the dink. Heiser dug up. 
Kimmy again, mid-range back corner kept alive. They're going to go to Heiser again. No, Niesel. Yes. Left side, back line too strong. Fifteen ten. In system, the quick set, free ball. Morrow with the dink. Measle. Over the Mara again. Blocked. Buck gets out of timeouts. Ace. Morrow with the runner. It's a free ball. Up the big Lynn. And finally, Buckeye Central with a point. Makes it 17-11. That'll send Mara back. Heiser's dug up. Bumped right side, running slide, kept alive. Measle somehow stays in it. Right at Heiser. Seifert with the push. Back corner, yeah. Left side for Mia, dinks it, somehow kept alive. Second chance, stays up. Cross court to Niza with the push. Mia, too strong, 19-11. Left side for me, a big swing, blocked. Back sets a free ball. Heiser, 20 to 11. The private institution from Canton Central Catholic, five points away. It'll be a free ball. Over the Neasel. Yes. 10 point lead. Left side. Kept alive. Measle again. Yeah. 22-11. Biglin. Backside. Kept up. 
Measel again, she's blocked. Buckeye Central back on the board, 22-12. Low serve, kept in play. Heiser left side, out. 22-13. Kimmy Biglin to serve. Left side, big swing, four hits. 22-14. Timeout, Cat and Central Catholic. The Buckets with a couple of points. Hello to Tyler Sanders. How are you doing, buddy? Buckets need one of those monumental runs if they want to keep their season alive here. It's Canton Central Catholic, three points away. Kimmy Biglin back once again to serve. Let ball, kept alive. Down the middle for Neasel. Yes, 23-14. This one angled. Back set for Mia. Dinks it and down. 23-15. I'll send Elise Seifert back. Just over the net, an ace. Might have mishit that, but it worked. Still trailing by seven, though. This time she goes right, stays in system, back set for Neasel, kept alive. Mia with the dink again. Jury this time, back line tipped. Little dink on a miss hit. Jury again, deflected, put into the net, 23-17. Low liner, in system, back set for Neasel. Put over the net, what a save. It's a free ball. Right at Mia. Yes! Twenty-three, eighteen. Time out, Canton Central Catholic. So, the Buckets are making things interesting. It's now 23-18. Buckets still need five to tie this up. However, they trailed by as much as 11. And once again, it's because they finally got Canton Central Catholic out of the rotation that they want with their bigs up front. Heiser is on the bench right now. 
with Niesel on the left side back line. Seifert. Again, just over the net. In system, back set, and down. Match point. Six match points for the regional title. And it'll be Niesel to do it. Bit of an overpass, flicked across, stays in. Back over. Mia, back line. Overpass, though. 24-19. Five more match points. Mia McDougal to serve. In system. Blocked. Pushed across. Mia's there. Bumped over to Mara. Back line. Borkwin. Too strong. 24-20. Oh, 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 oh my, that is as close as it gets. Mia, in system, back set, back line, kept up. Jury, blocked, one-handed save. Pushed across. Back set, swing, kept up. Mia will give it a free ball. Borkwin for the win. Too strong again. 24-21. Three more match points. Bit of a miss hit. It's a free ball. Mia with the save. It'll be a free ball back over. Quick set. It's over. Canton Central Catholic has won the Division IV Regional Championship. We're going to keep it here for the presentation of the trophies and medals. The private school from Canton will take on the private school from Tiffin in the state final four. Should take a look at the first ever regional championship for Canton Central Catholic. Buckeye Central will finish as regional runners up. They will finish the season 19 and 8, but for the first time since 2017, they are district champions. Just short of reaching its 12th Final Four. Winners, Canton Central Catholic will now face a juggernaut and Tiffin Columbian, only one loss on the year. They've cruised through their, their region and district. While they get things ready, we're going to take a short break. You're watching High School Volleyball live and free.
Man, I wish I was out there. Let's unretire. Find that. Yes, he's back. Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa? I still got it. Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good, right? Okay. Buckets. First, the head coach, Missy McDougal. Denise Mann. Lydia Ackerman. Players, Lisa, Mia McDougal. Ella Steele. Mara McDougal. Kimmy Bidwin. Savannah Pace, Miley Esther, Elise Seifert, Olivia Bishop, Adrian Jury, Marin McDougal, Grayson Hook, Emma Keller. Congratulations on a great season. And will the coaches, captains, and seniors come out for the trophy? And there are the regional runners up. Ace. Elite eight. Appearance and finish for the Buckettes, who finished at 19 and 8. What a great run they had, these three seniors. Their first ever district championship and regional runner up. Presenting the awards this evening will be Day Boats Principal. When I call your name, please come out and receive your. Medallion, Josie Stevens, Avery McMahon, Molly Marcerra, Jaden Johnson, Paige Walters, Emma Borkin, Sierra Dearborn, Julia Biedenbach, Sydney Turner, Leila Brandon, May Axling, Sophia King, Gianna Novelli, Madison Heiser, Lauren Nizel and Camille Lehman, Addison Nizel and Emmy Morrison. And coaches, Lauren Cole, Cole Amelia Bracken and Sarah Miller. And coaches, seniors, Please come out to receive your regional trophy, championship trophy. Congratulations, and thank you for everyone coming, and thanks for the national anthem. And there are the first time regional champs, the Canton Central Catholic Lady Crusaders. They will take on state number three, Tiffin Columbia, Tiffin Calvert, on Friday at six o'clock in Dayton. We'll take a break, and when we come back, our MVP interview, we'll try and get the three seniors from Buckeye Central up here after the break. You're watching High School Volleyball, live and free.
Man, I wish I was out there. Let's unretire. Why, Matt? Yes, he's back. Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa? I still got it. Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. I'm good right here, bro. <laughs> Unretirement? Who'd be dumb enough to do that? Hi, I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report.
time now for our Seifert Family Farms MVPs. It is the three seniors from Buckeye Central who finished with 73 career wins and a 2023 Elite Eight appearance, regional runners up. First off, uh, Kimmy Biglin. We also have Ellis Steele and Mia McDougal. First, Kimmy, same question I'm going to ask all three of you. Just what has this run this season meant for you guys? And then after that, just what has your career meant? at Buckeye Central? Um, making this tournament run was really special. I know a lot of us came back last year as the same girls. We only lost one senior. I don't think a lot of people expected us even to make it out of districts, to be honest. And I think, you know, going on this run was something special and something that we had to believe in, and we did. And, you know, we came far, and I'm proud of all of us. And, um, you know, playing for this program, it's a very prestigious program for high school, and it's a privilege to play for this school and to compete with the N10 and all the other teams and you know it's a big standard that you have to hold up to and it's really special. All right thank you Kimmy. Ella you want to step in here just what has this run this year meant for you guys and your four years or your career as a bucket what's that meant for you as well? Well I think this run that we've had this year has meant a lot to all of us individually and all of us together and I think it's definitely um, an experience that none of us will forget and I think we did big things, and I'm really proud of us. Do you have any shout outs before you hand it off to Mia? Um, I would like to shout out my family and my boyfriend for always supporting me. There you have it. Thank you, and proud of you for your career you've had, Ella. Thank you. Now, finally, to our MVP from the district championship, Mia McDougal. Mia, you, you played through some illness, you played through injury and stuff, but you know, playing for this squad. I already asked you what the district title meant, but what has it meant to be one of the final eight teams in the state of Ohio in Division Four first? And then what has your career meant to you at Buckeye Central? Um, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Yeah, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but yeah, we haven't been here in, I mean, six, seven years. So to be here is a privilege in itself. And we didn't play our best today. And I mean, that team, they came out on top and we're just going to have to come back next season not me obviously but the team as a whole come back next season and work hard to try to get a similar outcome what has your career at Buckeye Central meant to you your four years um I just come and play and it's not very deep for me but yeah that's all <laughs> and uh, any thank yous to anybody that supported throughout the season uh, my like family that? they came to every game they're super supportive well, I'm and hoping mom came to every game hmm? said I'm, I'm hoping mom came oh, to every yeah. game <laughs> <laughs> yep, she got a has to come to every game but yeah Shout out my family, and that's about it. All right, Mia. Proud of you for your four years, and congratulations on a regional runner-up. Thank you. Man, I wish I was out there. Let's unretire. Why not? Yes, he's back. Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa? Hey, hey, I need that senior discount. Ooh, I'm good, right here, bro. <laughs> Unretirement? Who'd be dumb enough to do that? Hi, I'm Josh with Scout Construction, proud sponsor of local teams and athletes. Check out your favorite local sports right here on the OH Report. Welcome back to the Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters post-game show. Where we're going to wrap it up for the volleyball season as Buckeye Central falls in four to state-ranked Canton Central Catholic. Three sets to one. Travis Brody back here at Strongsville High School. Uh, looked good for Buckeye Central. First set, they won 25-20, but like the regional semi for Canton Central Catholic, they bounced back to win the next three. It was close. They had 
Big leads in the second and third sets. Buckeye Central was able to get it back to within two in the second, but lost 25-23. was 23 all in the third set, but a miss hit and then a big point gave them the 2-1 lead. Buckeye Central had the lead early on in the fourth set, but then a big run by Canton Central Catholic had them all up 11. Buckets fought back to within four, but it was just too little, too late. And 25-20 was the fourth set final as Lady Crusaders will go on against Tiffin Calvert. Number three, three of the top four teams in the state will play in the state semifinals only because number one played number two today in a regional championship. So that'll be coming up next week. Shenandoah versus New Bremen. I believe 4.30 on Friday at Wright State. And then Canton Central Catholic will take on Calvert Friday at 6 o'clock. But that'll do it. We're done for volleyball this season. I want to thank everybody that helped us throughout the volleyball season and especially for Buckeye Central's run. I want to first thank Madeline Zazuto as always. Great job running the cameras tonight. I want to thank Adam Thompson as well. Our audio video tech and our sponsors, our Buckeye Central sponsors for the last four, three matches. McDougal Financial, our scoreboard sponsor. Seifert Family Farms, our MVP sponsor. Buckeye Central Athletic Boosters, our pre-game, post-game sponsor. Friedley Insurance, our instant replay sponsor. And our commercial sponsors, Scout Construction Services and Frito-Lay. Want to thank the fine folks here at Strongsville High School, as always, for the regional. This is our third straight year back for that. As well as the OHSA for allowing us to stream these matches to you live and free. But that'll wrap it up for the volleyball season. We still got five playoff teams left in the state of Ohio. So we'll have a football Friday night for you coming up. And in a couple of weeks, it'll be basketball time. But for now, for Madeline Zizuto, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from Strongsville.